Welcome to the Yossi Schmidt Show, presented by Team World Supporter. In this week's episode, I interview one of the co-founders of FreeSpace, Elise Rhodes, Pierotti, to discuss free space and free speech. Thank you for agreeing to be on the Yossi Schmidt Show. Yeah, absolutely. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm just settling in, just made a move to sunny Florida. So enjoying the weather and getting a lot of work done for free space. I'm, I'm really happy to hear that you moved to Florida. I'm jealous. I know. I know. I'm Florida too. We're the first state in, I think, since Biden took office to actually create more jobs. So that's a good thing. <laughs> well, I live in Jersey, so yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That sucks. Well, you have some nice beaches in Jersey, so you have that. <laughs> yeah. Someone was telling me that uh, our election, like, why do you even care? Murphy's going to win anyway. You got to do what you can. You can never give up if you believe in, you know, different policy. You have to go for whatever you believe in. Don't just... You got to do what you can. That's all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, sorry about that. Um, so what makes you so passionate about free speech? About free speech? Well, I mean, I, I know you, I've, I've seen Team World Supporter around for a while. Um, I know back from my days at Parlor, um, you did some reviews of that. <laughs> I see your face. Um, I know. I what, told myself I wasn't going to mention Parlor. It's okay. I don't mind talking about it. You know, I I worked there for almost two years, and I was there from like some of the the growth and do different things like that. So I'm happy to speak about it. Um, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about free speech, and it's honestly not even political, but it's our first guiding thing in this country that makes it so that we can actually disagree. So many people who are, uh, who, you know, founded our country knew that if we couldn't have differing opinions and speak to each other, um, also having the ability to go back and had to have discourse, that's what we were founded about. And if we stop doing that, and with the inception of the internet and all the discussion that happens there, if one voice is silenced, um, it's, it just throws it all off and it's not what our country is about. And here, just valid points, very valid points. Um, so after you left Parlor, you took a break from uh, from platforms or right away you founded uh, free space i took i took a break um you know obviously it's a a busy couple years but one of the things that i came across is um a new opportunity to get tech out there and decentralized technology one of the things we've seen in the past few years is that tech is going to be decentralized people are angry with facebook instagram um twitter all the different systems because they're they're basically Uh, monopolizing their power. So what's happening is people are going to start having all different types of applications all over the map. And if you can start an start an app and get, you know, your own between, you know, five to 10 million micro community, that's still an amazing business. So even after I left, I realized, you know, having all these different style of apps are the future also giving people better product um, new features, things like that. It's so important. So I came into that opportunity. I was very blessed to connect with a few people that wanted to get back into the tech space. Um, and with that, we launched free space. Sorry. All right. I hope that doesn't make any noise. Um, So you're catering to, so I, I made a list of notes. This yeah. is the first interview on the Yossi Schmidt show. Great. And I'm really happy that uh, you agreed. Um, give me a second. Who are you catering to with uh, um, Free Space? 
Well, with free space, we're we're getting to everybody. Um, we see ourselves as more of a, a parallel to Facebook and Instagram. I know you've been on the app and seen kind of how things work, but what we want to do is create a space for all different walks of life, all different types of people. A lot of times when you launch an app and different technology, you'll be very surprised by the people that actually download the platform. Um, we have people from 176 countries, all different walks of life, age, age groups, all that kind of stuff. So really what we're going after is anybody who wants a fresh platform, uh, power back to the creators. Um, and, and then we also are the only tech platform so far that is protecting kids. Um, one of the reasons that we went ahead and founded Free Space was kind of after they let out the social dilemma and even Facebook, Instagram, all of them, they admitted that they have this problem, especially among children. A lot of the executives at these platforms don't allow their kids to use their platform because it's so negative. And they feed off of just, you know, pushing all this negativity on kids, even with the, the recent whistleblower. And I don't know what the motive was, but she was right when she said, you know, and I, I know her, there was an ulterior motive there, but when she did say that there their algorithms are specifically meant to make you angry. She was right. You know, they do that on purpose. So what we want to do is we want to have a much more positive platform. And you'll see that with our value reward system where we want people to go ahead and, you know, post that they had a great day, that they're grateful, that they gave back in the community, that they were active in civic duty and all of those different things. And it's a chain reaction. It's been studied by doctors that it actually will create and make the world a better place through social. And when we ask about our demographics, I think we'll see a lot more moms wanting their kids um, from ages, from whenever they get a cell phone to use those platforms because they'll be much more positive. We'll protect them. We're not going to have any um, patience for any type of abuse towards children, pornography, all that kind of stuff. So it's a much better place. But then you can still also have those tough conversations like, you know, obviously politics has become so polarizing. And with that said, um, we still will have those conversations and we're not going to censor that. But we also will have our terms of service that make it much more family friendly than many other apps. So, like you said, I've been on free space for a while now. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy like the channels and the podcasts which is new i think yeah podcast section is new um we we really want to start partnering with all different types of podcasts so we can have all different types of content that you can actually do within the app so right now you're working with the podcasts that you have on free on the podcast section you're working with the producers to add it or you're adding it yourselves we manually add it um but in in the future what we want to do with that section is is be directly working with some of them and uh, make sure that they can you know maximize their clicks and do things like that like there's the spotify has podcasts um apple has podcasts so we really want to get a podcast section going for free space that would be good because as far as i know i think that there's no alternative platform for podcasting oh no i will i i think that there's a few that have tried but i don't know if any have stuck yet so there's definitely a market for that that's good uh, you know that i'm a very big proponent of alternative <laughs> platforms and things like that so alternative media alternatives i mean you see what team has done yeah absolutely so Tell me, tell me a little bit more about Team World Supporter and why you got into it um, and what makes you so passionate about alternative tech. So the truth is, I saw that Team World Supporter, I mean, the name Team World Supporter, don't ask me how I, how I came about with the name because I don't even know myself. But I saw that people were getting censored for speaking po politics. You cannot, um, you cannot censor someone just for saying what they think their opinion is, what their opinion is. You might disagree, like you said, but that doesn't mean that you could censor them. So 
I immediately started tweeting about it with my old Twitter account, World Supporter. And then someone contacted me and asked me to check out their uh, platform. That's what brought me into reviewing platforms. And then someone's like, yo, Yusti, did you check out Parlor yet? I'm like, what's that? I was new to the whole alternative platform situation. And I checked out Parlor and I really appreciated what Parlor looked like and everything. And I noticed that people were undecided between CloudUp and Parlor. So I did the comparison, you know about that. I, you retweeted the poll that I did. I don't know if you remember that. I do, yeah, I do. Um, I remember I came home to thousands of retweets and, and votes. I was very uh, astonished. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so then I realized no one is really doing reviews of alternative platforms. They're either writing hit pieces or fluff pieces. Sure. And I personally think that the fluff pieces are articles submitted by the platform themselves. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think. I did an episode of the Yossi Shman show saying that. So, like I said, I think I'm the only one that does reviews. And I'm going to stick to that. And then I also saw how the media was fake and doing everything. So I started to do the nightly news roundups. I think you've seen those too. I'm not sure. Because again, everyone has to be held accountable. That's my motto in life. So, but my main, my main focus is not news, even though I do that every day. My main focus is protecting the constitution and stopping people from trampling. I hope I wasn't too uh, flustered when I said that. No, I'm trying to cram everything into one, into a couple words. Yeah, I think, I think you're going to be busy in the coming years if you're doing the reviews of alternative tech, because I think that a lot of people are learning that this is a space to get into because there's going to be a mass exodus coming from Twitter and Facebook and not just from people who have been censored. It's just, I think a lot of the practices of these companies are coming out. So many people um, and, you know, many investors and things like that are looking around and saying, there's a new market here. So you'll have, you'll have a lot of work to do there. Well, I I hope to, because I really want to see a, a, uh, change. I don't like to see that people trample on the Constitution and trample on people's freedom to speak. I get having a term of services and I get blocking anti-Semitic posts and I get blocking pornography. I get it and I want that. I stumbled upon a uh, free speech platform and all that was on there was pornography. I didn't even say anything on that platform. I didn't even do a test post. I deleted my account. Yeah. I was just like, no, not a <laughs> cup of tea. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes the free speech conversation is taken into pornography. And when it comes to terms of service and creating a space that is actually, you know, able to stay in app stores and able to be monitored and regulated in that sense. Um, We don't believe in censorship and and censoring um, ideas or anything like that because you can't necessarily um, define hate speech. It's different for every single different individual, but you can make sure that obscenities and things like that that are harmful to people are, are not on the platform on a daily basis. That's good. Um, I just have to ask, um, what are you doing to combat the issue that 
you could technically be taken off the app stores. We actually have, um, uh, when it comes to the app store, the way that our application is set up, if you go to our website, you can still go ahead and get it downloaded onto your phone. So uh, in the event that we were removed from the app store, we have backup plans there. Um, we also have our own servers. Um, we're blessed with a company that our, our own um, cloud and things like that. So a lot of people use AWS because it's the most affordable system that there is. And, you know, people will turn it on back and forth. Many people won't ever have an issue with Amazon, but if it ever did become um, something we were privately hosted um, and we also still have a decent relationship with Apple, uh, we plan to stay in the app store for the, you know, for the foreseeable future. Um, if anything was to happen, I, I think we would be able to work it out, but we do have a backup plan. Well, congratulations on being on your own servers. I'm really happy to hear that. Um, do you plan on, because I'm more of a computer guy. I like to do all my social media from computer, from the web. Do you plan on having free space on a web or not at all? Yes, we will have web. Um, we are actually working on a couple new products for free space. Um, we're going to have free space 2.0 that's coming January 1st, 2022. Really exciting. I want to start building the momentum for it because we're, in, we're doing a full upgrade. So free space is already great, but what we want to do is make sure that we have some of the features that creators love. And um, we're going to have a way for many people to monetize and make money. Um, we have, we've come up with some different ways that no other apps are doing. So we're really excited to start unrolling that. And with those features, we will have desktop. Well, I'm really happy to hear that. And I'm looking forward to testing out those features. Maybe even doing a review, but this is not a review. This is just more about free space in general, not a review. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing that, uh, to that. I saw the video, I think, uh, about free space for, on your website that you're catering to the lifestyle. You said that earlier. You're the only one doing it. That's what you said. So I'm really proud to be on free space. But yeah, yeah the idea behind the lifestyle is that with making social media more positive, um, we're, we're attracting a, a little bit of a community that is, is much more of an entrepreneur mindset where they want to know what the greats do. So if you want to know how someone powers up their morning, what they do during the day for their success and all that, do those different things. So what we want people to do is we want more people to scroll to success and not to excess. So you're learning much more about, um, you know, maybe you learn about stocks, maybe you learn about crypto, maybe you, you follow some one of your favorite people and you, you learn a new habit or they went to the gym and you're like, you know what, so-and-so worked out today, so I'm going to work out today. So what we're trying to do is really start a chain reaction of, of better lifestyles, better people. And we are one of the first apps that is, is offering that and encouraging people to be the, their best selves. Yeah, I see the drink coffee, refueled and worked yeah. out, like you said, ate healthy, everything. And then uh, crypto, you, I saw uh, in the channels, besides for the podcast section, the news from both sides. I, I like how you break it down and I'm very, uh, I might start using that to get my own news. Oh, yeah. Um in, in the news feature is ever expanding. We're going to be adding many things to that. Um, it's just kind of just beginning. I could tell, but I really like it. And I'm appreciative of the whole platform as a whole. Um, just a second. Where do you see the First Amendment going forward? Where do, the whole I situ Where do you see going forward the first the attack, as I call it, the attack on the First Amendment? Do you see the su succeeding or 
do you see that the alternative platforms are going to defeat that issue? Well, one of the things I, I see is, is like I mentioned earlier in the interview is decentralized tech is the, as people fighting back, they're realizing, you know, these companies don't respect my values. Um, these companies are trying to take away my ability to speak about what I believe in. And many people are saying enough is enough. Um, even you can see in, in much of the polling out, the most of the country is realizing, you know, don't trample on my freedom because when you start taking away people's ability to speak, it also trickles into all of our other freedoms. Um, so many people are, I think, really waking up the last couple of years and realizing, okay, we need to put our business behind companies that believe in what we believe. Um, I would love to see more of an exodus from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just based off of their business practices. I mean, I won't get too deep into it, but some of the stuff that they do is incredibly um, uh, disheartening, especially for children and other things like that. Um, so I really do think in the future, people are going to start saying, hey, I know I can profit off of this, but I want to build an audience somewhere else because I believe much more in you know their values and what they do as a company. And, and that in turn is protecting the First Amendment. 100%. Do you see Trump's new social media platform as a com competition to free space or totally different? I, I see it as different. Um, I'm actually incredibly excited for President Trump to have an outlet. He hasn't had a space to speak in almost a year now. So him starting his own thing, you know, it, it completely makes sense. And we really wish him the best. I think getting into the tech space isn't easy and him, you know, being as, um, popular as he is is he's going to have a lot of people going after different things so we really want wish him the best and make want to um you know see that succeed as well because if alternative techs succeed it's also good for us because we're in that space and we get more people on but our platform is completely different than what true social will be that's an engine in a sounding board people can go talk about you know like how they're feeling keep up with day to day of maybe like all Trump's postings, but what we are is a, a lot different. We're more of your Facebook, Instagram lifestyle app where you can monetize, be social, get your news, get your podcast, all that kind of stuff. So we really don't see it as competition. Um, I know, you know Trump, is, Trump is a huge brand, so he is necessarily a little bit of competition, but you know, we're really excited for him, but we're also really excited for what we have coming with Free Space 2.0. I like about Instagram, I've been saying for a while, we need an alternative to Instagram. And you're saying that you're gonna be a, like an alternative to Instagram. One yeah. of the things I like about Instagram is the stories. Are you gonna be implementing stories or? Yes, we will be implementing stories as well as some, some short video feeds. So there'll be, and then a couple other new features that I won't speak on yet because they're gonna be a, a little bit of a surprise. But yeah, we, we do understand that like that stories feature. I love that feature too. I still use a couple of these platforms. Um, that's one of the ones that I use the most because it, without having to make a full post, you can share what you're doing on your day. Um, we really want to have interactive stories too, so people can get in there and, and participate in things like that. So we have a lot of stuff coming on that, that field. That sounds amazing. I'm really happy to hear. And oh, every week, I like how this was supposed to be earlier on in the interview. I like how you have an advisory board, Dr. Ben Carson, Nick. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I, yeah, he's great. If he's listening, I I really apologize that I don't have to pronounce your last name. Um, I just want to know, how do you go about finding people to add to your advisory board? Um, we, we go ahead and get people that are aligned with free space values. For instance, Dr. Ben Carson um, is very active um, children's education, encouraging people to be their best selves. He has a, a foundation, the Carson Scholars, which is an amazing one. Um, they're one of our uh, spots in our donate section that you can go donate to this Carson Scholar Fund. They um, they fund a lot of kids um, 
to be them best, their best selves. Dr. Carson's very passionate about that. So very much aligns with becoming, with making sure that the first amendment is protected with him. And then Nick Voyages is, is a world renowned speaker. He has such an inspiring story uh, about perseverance, positivity, and having a great outlook. So uh, the people that have joined us and joined our board are all aligned with our values. So that's really what we go for. Amazing to hear. And uh, yeah, um, trying to think. So um, it, it, I think we covered uh, groups we didn't cover. You do groups. You have uh, a lot of people create their own groups. A lot of users create their own groups. Yeah, we have groups and then we also have large group chats that have become very popular. We have a lot of users that wish each other good morning and good evening. Um, people have become very friendly on there. Um, the groups feature is a response to a lot of the groups being pulled off of Facebook. Um, a lot of different ones just based off of discussing, you know, medical issues, things like that were pulled off. So we've seen a lot of people come over and create groups on free space so they can openly discuss things that they weren't able to do on other platforms. That's very good. So to end off the interview, because I'm running out of time, I apologize. Um, would you be open for Team World Supporter to do a review? Yeah, absolutely. Where we, I, you know, you've seen my reviews, right? Yes, I, I, I'm not, I haven't seen them in a long time, so I'm not as incredibly familiar, but I'm happy to have you review and we'd love to hear your feedback on free space. So I ask questions about verification, about a whole bunch of things. Yeah. And I, what, and uh, then I, after explaining how the platform works, I, I'm not reviewing free space for now. Don't worry. Um, I, I give a, I give a recommendation at the end of the review. So you would be open to a review. Amazing. Yeah. One day. Uh, We'll uh, make the review happen. Um, I think, I don't know. Thank you for agreeing to be on uh, the podcast. And I really appreciate it. And thank you for being the first guest. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, and thank you for being on Free Space and thank you for the support. Always happy to support an alternative platform, social media platform. Great. And have a great day. Thank you. You too. This episode is sponsored by Anchor. Anchor is a free app that allows you to record a podcast straight from your phone or your computer. Very easy to use. It distributes your podcast to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many others. You can make money from it with no minimum listenership. It's very simple to use. Just download the app today or go to anchor.fm and get started today. Thank you again for sponsoring. And yes, guys, it's officially here. The TWS Nightly News Roundup is officially here for you to go get your one quick stop shop of news on our website with all the links there for you to check out the source, for you to read whatever you want. It's all there in one spot for you, one blog post for you. Come on over and check it out and become a member of our site so you can get notifications on when it's live and when it's not live. Thank you very much for listening to this episode. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Please remember to subscribe to us, follow us wherever you listen to podcasts, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much.